Watching it, it's just brilliant. In rehearsals, when Emily's being Alice, I, I enjoy it every minute of it. It's going to be amazing. What shall I recite? The Walrus and the Carpenter is the longest. The Walrus and the Carpenter, it's actually a story told by Tweedledum and Tweedledee. Waxworks weren't made to be looked at for nothing. That's where we first meet Tweedledum and Tweedledee. Contrary-wise, if you think we're alive, you ought to speak. It's comical, but at the same time, it's quite a dramatic scene. It's, it's another moment where she's listening to stories, because throughout the play, there's the theme of telling stories. Oh, so the idea of the music, really, is to try to capture that sense of fun. Lovely. I've used, a, I use an idiom which is sort of um, quite close to the music hall. Because she thought the sun had got no business to be there after the day was done. It's really true to the book, which is really important. Yeah, because it uses yeah. the actual words of the original novel. What I think is wonderful about Alice is that it doesn't make you feel guilty about just letting, for a couple of hours, just letting events wash over you. There are so many famous characters. And there are really funny moments in it as well. It has got a surreal edge, obviously, the story being naturally quite surreal. Like this, it's so colourful and energetic, it'll just be really entertaining to watch. It's a very, very diverse show. There's a lot of different things going on. There's a lot of action scenes, there's big dance scenes. It's like an invitation to dream. Of course they dream, that's 